In this edition of Twin World Game Reviews, we'll be taking a look at the game Color Zen by Cypronia. Now, Color Zen is a color matching puzzle game in which you need to match the outer frame of the screen with the color that's in the middle of the screen. So we're going to go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. So in here, as you can see, the outer frame is brown, and you got all these different colors inside. And the point is to get the brown matched to brown. So you have to get rid of the other colors first, obviously, and then yeah, and the final color needs to be what fills the screen. And it does get more challenging as you go through. There are four themes, we'll guess, we'll say. Them. There's the classic, which is what I'm doing right now. Then you've got a mirrored one, which does get kind of challenging. And see, watch, see if I mess up and do the wrong one. Yeah, it doesn't work like that. So we're gonna go ahead and get out of here because yeah, show you some more of the advanced stuff. And art style is nice. Yeah, you know, it's meant for switching colors on the screen. So yeah, no need to get too crazy fancy with this. I like the the ambient background music. And, you know, be nice to just relax while you're doing these puzzles. And so I'll just show one or two from here. And as you can see, you get white and black colors in here as well. And the white one basically will absorb whatever you touch into it and make it be your screen there. You can go either or it's showing you. And if you do it this way, then yeah, you get rid of the white, then you do what you need to do. And so I'm just going to get out of here. And that's one of the issues is sometimes when you double tap, you cannot get this menu up, which is a real pain in the butt because you're tapping and tapping and tapping and just won't go. And another issue is that, well, it's more like a glitch, I'm guessing, is that you can actually use the black one, which you're seeing now, and the black one will absorb colors. And if you do it just right, you can, okay, so I'm going to do it with this one. Oh, yeah, there you go. But the black one absorbs the color, and so if you end up doing things just right, you can usually do it where you can suck out two colors at the exact same time which I don't think the developers meant to do, but anything is possible, I guess. And see, like that. That probably shouldn't have happened, but I'm thinking that's a glitch. So that's another issue there. And the game itself is also played with the touchscreen only. You cannot use the buttons for anything. So it's you're definitely going to be looking at this, the gamepad here. You won't be looking at the TV screen, even though they are mirrored. And so let's go ahead and get that done. And yeah, there's some slight frame rate, frame rate issues, but it's very few and far in between. So yeah, the gameplay is nice. It's a couple of hiccups as you saw there. The audio is nice, visual art style is nice. I would definitely give this game a seven and a half out of ten. And that's it for this review.